Rob Collector, part three. All right, this is part three of uh, Homebrew and Your Wii and setting it up for the USB loader so you can play Wii games and GameCube games. All right, in the last video, part two, we homebrew the Wii. We got Wi-Fi on the Wii already. So right now I got internet. What I did was I grabbed the same two gig SD card. I formatted it, took out the letter bomb stuff. And now I just added the homebrew um, browser. I didn't put everything, I already have everything. But when I'm gonna show you the first steps you gotta take to start up your empire. All right, here we go. First thing we're gonna do is go to the homebrew channel. And all I did on the S on the SD card was made a folder named apps. Then I got the homebrew browser from a link in one of the YouTube videos that I saw and I went to the link I downloaded the file I extracted the file and it had a homebrew channel I put that folder that I extracted into the apps folder in the SD card that is in the Wii now alright that's all you have to do if you ever want to transfer this information to a, another SD card, all you have to do is copy it and transfer to a bigger one once you start adding all the games and stuff. Alright, so okay. this should be your first step. You should go to your homebrew channel. I'm sorry, your homebrew browser. Make sure you got internet. See it right there. You got Wi Fi, so we're going to go on it. And I'm going to do it just like you would do if you're starting off. And then you can start downloading your games. For Nintendo, they're pretty easy to get. You can get packs that have all the games. I downloaded a pack for the NES that had like 850 games. So a lot of times what you do is download them. You extract them. You extract the files. Or you open it with a zip, uh, like if it's a zip, as if a zip folder, you're gonna use a zip file to something. I use seven zip that I got from uh, the the Windows uh, store or something. It works fine though. Some files if you can't open them, just gotta deal with it. Some of the games, especially GameCube and Wii, some files are gonna be corrupt, incomplete. So get used to it alright so once you come here first thing you're going to download what we're going to focus in this video is we're going to get we're going to download USB loader download the those thing always have good internet so it won't stop in the middle of the stuff all right all right now hit B back out and next thing we're gonna get is the CIOS let's get the Nintendo too because you're going to need that to play Genki games. Alright. So B. Let's keep going down. See, there's some things here that you can download. So you can use, um, you can use your PS4, PS3 controller through, um, through a USB. Okay. 
Okay, let's keep going. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, here we go. I'll just we're gonna download the D two X C I O S installer. Alright. B. Mm. I'll come back. I'll show you. Well, we'll just get him now so you can understand the whole thing. So I'm gonna download this one, Nintendo Emulator, FCE Ultra GX. That's the one I use all the time. So we download it. Basically, what we download in here is the actual app. That you're gonna see it now in the apps folder. You're gonna see a uh, Ultra GX in the apps folder. But if you want to get the window for it, so you can have a little window in the front, so you can just click on it in the home screen. You have to get the forward or the channel installer. I'll just do this one so you guys can see. Where is it? There you go. FCE Ultra GX channel installer. You can download that. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna hit B. Alright, now we're gonna hit the home button and we're gonna return back to loader. Alright. Alright, as you can see now we got a couple things. We still got the browser. We have the emulator and the channel. So you can have a window. And then we then have the USB loader and the CIOS. Alright, so we still got internet. First thing you do is you can go to CIOS. Okay, we're gonna hit any button. Then we're gonna get over here. Look. So here we're gonna set the. These are the settings we're gonna do. This we're gonna do this twice. That's the first time. Okay, we're gonna select CIOS so V10 Beta 53 the base is going to be 56 slot 249 and revision is going to be 65535 alright now we're going to hit A now you see 249 blinking now we're going to hit A again and now it's going to do this it's going to download it so that's why you need to have Wi-Fi no Wi-Fi you can't get this stuff and it's basically patching the iOS system and the, and the Wii just making it think that the USB it's a uh, disk drive basically it makes a USB port a disk drive all right so Depending on the internet, this takes a while. Well, mine's pretty quick now. Alright, it's almost done. Let it finish. Alright, what I normally do, I always suggest, is to the next step you can do it by pressing A, but I always back out. Hit B. See, you have 249 is green. We're going to hit B. We're going to back out. And then we're going to go back to it again. Alright. So we're going to hit any button. Okay. And this time around, the second time, we're going to go to the iOS, CIOS. We're going to put it at beta 10. I'm sorry, V10, Beta 52. 
and then we're gonna put the base at 57 and then the slot at 250 and then the revision again at 65 535 all right so this is the second time around we're going to put d10 beta 52 57 on the base slot 250 65 535 on the revision and then we're going to hit a you can see 250 flashing purple and we're going to hit a again it's going to go into the loading screen Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if I'm being helpful, I appreciate if you guys can leave a like or a comment, or even subscribe. I do a lot of weird stuff, so a lot of weird games that nobody really knows about. All right. All right. Second, no longer. But it should be done. All right, let me look for that. All right, there we go. I'm gonna hit B. Sometimes the controller turns off. You'll notice that the light is off at the bottom. It's normal. All right, next thing we're gonna do is install the channel installer. It's simple. Up channel. The screen. See now we're running iOS 58. That's what you want. Install. Okay. And there you go, guys. We're gonna go back to the home screen. channel and now we have the Nintendo emulator. of course it's empty right now it has no games but all you have to do is download some ROMs you take out the SD card plug it in you're gonna see that it's the apps folder that has the Ultra GX app in it and then and the same thing when you see apps folder, you're gonna see another folder that says Ultra GX. And that one should be the one that um you put the ROMs in. Once I set up my computer so I can show you guys and make videos, I'll show you how to do the computer part of this, but it's not hard. Remember, if I could do it, you can do it. Alright, so hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment.